welcome everyone to the announcement of Tesla Energy, about a fundamental transformation of how the world works, about how energy is delivered across the Earth. This is how it is today. It's pretty bad. <laughs> that sucks, exactly. <laughs> I just want to be clear, because sometimes some people are confused about this. This is real. This is actually how most power in the world is generated with fossil fuels. And if you look at the curve, that's a famous curve, the Keeling curve, which shows the growth in CO2 concentration in the atmosphere. And every year, it ratchets up. It gets higher and higher. And if we do nothing, that's where it's headed, to levels that we don't even see in the fossil record. I think we collectively should do something about this. The way the grid works today is this. You've got coal, you've got natural gas, nuclear, hydro, wind, and solar, but not, not enough wind and solar, obviously. That's sort of the grid typically in most countries. There's a quite a big difference in peak to trough usage. So the peak usage is typically at least twice the trough usage. That, that's an important point. What we're here to talk about is the solution. I actually think it's a fairly obvious solution, but it's something that we need to do. We have this handy fusion reactor in the sky called the sun. You don't have to do anything. It just works. It shows up every day and produces ridiculous amounts of power. Now, a lot of people aren't clear on how much surface area is needed to generate enough power to completely get the United States off of fossil fuels. Most people have no idea. They think that it must be some huge amount of area, like maybe you need these satellites in space, space solar power. If anyone should be in favor of space solar power, it should be me. <laughs> but this is completely unnecessary, because actually very little land is needed to power, to get rid of all fossil fuel electricity generation in the United States. That blue square there is the land area that's needed to transition the United States to a zero carbon electricity situation. It's really not much. Most of that area is going to be in rooftops. You won't need to disturb land. You won't need to find new areas. It's mostly just going to be on the roofs of existing homes and buildings. So I really think that that, that image is an important one to bear in mind when people are thinking about solar power. Like, how much will it take? Is it going to take some enormous amount? No, it's just that blue square. The obvious problem with solar power is that the sun does not shine at night. So I think most people are aware of this. So this problem needs to be solved. We need to store the energy that is generated during the day so that you can use it at night. And also, even during the day, the energy generation varies. There's a lot more energy generated in the middle of the day than at dawn or dusk. So it's very important to smooth out that energy generation and retain enough so that you can use it at night. What you may not have noticed in that earlier slide where I showed the blue square was that there was one red pixel. In the blue square was a red pixel. Now it's zoomed in so you can see that red pixel. That is the size of the batteries needed to transition all of the United States being solar with batteries. It is a very tiny amount. One pixel. <laughs> Just remember that. One pixel is the size of the batteries needed to have no fossil fuel generated electricity. This is no room at all. So not a problem for solar or batteries. The issue with existing batteries is that they suck, OK? <laughs> they're really horrible. They look like that. They're expensive, they're unreliable, they're sort of stinky, ugly, bad in every way. You have to combine multiple systems. There's not one integrated place you can go and buy a battery that just works, which is what people really want to buy. So we have to come up with a solution. That's the missing piece. That's the thing that's needed to, to have a proper transition to a sustainable energy world. So the missing piece is what we're going to show you tonight. we call the Tesla Powerwall. And if you look back against that wall, you'll see a whole bunch of them. 
and it looks like a beautiful sculpture on the wall. I want to point out a few things that are very important about this. The fact that it's wall-mounted is vital, because it means you don't need to have a battery room. Okay, you don't have to have some room filled with nasty batteries. It means that a normal household can mount this on their garage or on the outside wall of their house, and it doesn't take up any room. And it's flat against the wall. It has all of the integrated safety systems, the thermal controls, the DC to DC converter. It's designed to work very well with solar systems right out of the box, and it addresses all the needs. If you're Thinking about buying a battery, what does this provide you? It gives you peace of mind, so if, if there's a cut in the utilities, you're always going to have power, particularly if you're in a place that's very cold. Now you don't have to worry about being out of power if there's an ice storm. You can actually go, if you want, completely off-grid. You can take your solar panels, charge the battery packs, and that's all you use. It gives you safety, security, and it gives you a complete and affordable solution. And the cost of this is $3,500. <laughs> And it's designed so you can stack them on the wall. If you look at the wall in the back, you'll see that there are some that are paired up. You can actually stack up to nine of the power walls. So if you've got a pretty big thing going on, you can have 90 kilowatt hours, this lot. And very importantly, this is going to be a great solution for people in remote parts of the world where there's no electricity wires or where the electricity is extremely intermittent or extremely expensive. You can take the Tesla Powerwall and it can scale globally. People in a remote village or an island somewhere can take solar panels, combine it with the Tesla Powerwall, and never have to worry about having electricity lines. This is going to be great. You, having electricity lines are not the most pretty thing in the world. So being able to just have this solution that just works wherever you are, I think is going to be incredibly helpful to people that don't have electricity today. You can order the Powerwall right now on the Tesla website. Actually, go to teslaenergy.com and you can order the Powerwall right now. We're going to start shipping in approximately three or four months. And initially, the ramp will be slow because these packs will be made in our Fremont factory. And then next year, the ramp will go much, much higher as we transition to the Gigafactory in Nevada. So this is a good solution for homes and perhaps for some small commercial applications. But what about something that scales much to much, much larger levels? So for that, we have something else. So we have the Power Pack. The Tesla Power Pack is designed to scale infinitely. You could go gigawatt class or higher, and in fact, we already have one utility that wants to do a 250 megawatt hour installation just using the power pack. I think it would be a good idea, this would be a good time to transition the power that we're using in the building to being battery powered, of course. So, so let's go to the camera feed to check out the power meter. Oh wow, the grid, it's actually zero. This entire night has been powered by batteries. Of <laughs> Not only that, the batteries were charged by the solar panels on the roof of this building. So this entire night, everything you're experiencing is stored sunlight. So when I say scalable, I really mean scalable. We can do gigawatt class installations with the power pack. The whole system is designed, literally designed for infinite scalability. So we could power a small city like Boulder with a gigawatt hour class pack. We can keep going here. What I want to do is explore what's really needed to transition the world to sustainable energy. Is this actually possible? Is it something that is within the ability of humanity to actually do? Or is it some insurmountable, super difficult, impossible thing? It's not. With 160 million power packs, you can transition the United States. With 900 million, you can transition the world. You can make all electricity generation in the world renewable and primarily solar. And then going a little further, if you wanted to transition all transport and all electricity generation and all heating to renewable, you need approximately 2 billion power packs. Now that may seem like an insane number. It's like 2 billion power packs. Is that a crazy number? Is that an impossible number? It is not, in fact. The point I want to make is that this is actually within the power of humanity to do. We have done things like this before. So it's not impossible. It is really something that we can do. In fact, it's something that obviously we're starting to do with Gigafactory 1. The way we're approaching the Gigafactory is really like it's a product. So we're not really thinking of it in the traditional way that people think of it as a factory, like a building with a bunch of off-the-shelf equipment in it. What we're really designing in the Gigafactory is a giant machine 
It's actually really, think of it like, it's like a product of Tesla. We're making this really big product that doesn't happen to move, but it's really big. And that's what we're doing, is, is Gigafactory version one. We're building that in Nevada right now, and there will need to be many Gigafactories in the future. I do want to emphasize that this is not something that we think Tesla's going to do alone. We think there's, there's going to need to be many other companies building sort of Gigafactory class operations of their own, and we hope they do. And the Tesla policy of open sourcing patents will continue for the Gigafactory and for the Power Pack and for all these other things. So we want to show people, that most importantly, that this is possible. That's the future we could have, where the curve slowly rolls over and goes to zero. No incremental CO2. That's the future we need to have. And the path that I've talked about, the solar panels and the batteries, it's the only path that I know that can do this. And I think it's something that we must do, and we can do, and that we will do. Thank you all for coming tonight, and I hope you had a great time. Thanks.